Hey guys, welcome to another one of my Greek type videos where I talk about sorority, recruitment, rush, pretty much all the basics about Oneonta. So today I'm going to be talking about the rush process at Oneonta and my personal experience and kind of what to do and how to do it. There are seven social sororities on Oneonta's campus. So we have Pi Delta Chi, obviously I'm in Pi Delta Chi, I'm a sister. Um, there is Tri Sig, Sigma Gamma Phi, Phi Sigma Sigma, Alpha Kappa Phi, Sigma Delta Tau, and Kappa Beta Gamma, which Kappa Beta Gamma just got on campus last semester. They're recognized by the school, so I think they're, you know, slowly gaining track on campus. First thing I highly suggest doing when rushing in Oneonta is doing your research. I know it's kind of hard to do that when you're not, you know, talking to them or, you know, being with them all the time because this is over the summer. Going on their Instagram, following them, you can DM them, you can go on the Oneonta website and do a little bit of research there. You can also find, once the recruitment process comes up, you can find a schedule. Sorority's Instagram, they will also have a schedule there, so you can definitely keep up to date with things on their stories and stuff because they post updates fairly regularly, at least from my Instagram that we have, Pi Delta Chi, posts almost every day on their story and almost every day in general. Um, but definitely like find out their philanthropy, find out what their colors are and just do your research because you kind of don't want to be going in there and being like, oh yeah, you guys seem cool from your Instagram pictures, what do you guys do? Isn't necessarily a bad thing, but like kind of know what they like and, well not what they like, but what they do and you know, maybe figure out a philanthropy that you'd also enjoy. Like, I know Pat Delta Kai has Force and Unite for Her, which is about breast cancer or ovarian cancer, and we do a lot of uh, money raising things for that. Uh, Tri Sigma does March of Dimes. Definitely, like, go on their websites, like their pictures, just figure out what they're about. What I did before going into freshman year, which freshmen actually can't rush first semester just because you kind of getting settled in it makes sense why the school doesn't want you to quickly just jump in. I had a little notebook and I wrote down uh, every like stuff on the sororities that I was interested in and I did checkpoints and like oh this one has this, oh this one has a cute Instagram, oh this one has this kind of girls, oh this one has like that and I pretty much just narrowed it down to a few sororities that I really liked and I went to some of their socials and I saw them on campus and I signed up for things and you know I just showed that I was active. So number two I highly suggest doing with during the rush process or before the rush process, this is just to help your experience, is to kind of maybe rework your social media. Just because I know um, you probably, if you're looking, if you're looking at their social media on Instagram, they're probably looking at your social media on Instagram. So if you have things with like, I don't know, like drinks in your hand and like, you know, if your Instagram's just all depressing or, you know, something like that and it doesn't look like you're a very hap like happy or passionate person, maybe they might pick someone else over you just because you don't look as happy or, you know, it's not even about like likes or anything, it's just about like having good social medias, like not posting super depressing stuff, not, you know, posting sketchy things or anything like that. If you wouldn't show your parents it, you probably shouldn't have it on there. So maybe delete some pictures, maybe add some pictures. Put out your best self on your social medias just because it really helps. And I know that girls look at Instagrams and you know, they take a little bit from you. It's just recommended, not, you don't have to do that, but it's something because they're probably looking. Just preparing. I did a video on outfits that I did for my recruitment process which I did not need as many outfits as I actually anticipated. Prepare with outfits, prepare with things you're going to say, um, prepare with just like research on stories, like I said before. If they have a social that's like highlighter themed or 80s themed, maybe have something neon to wear. If you get invited to a pref night, you are going to need a fancier outfit. You're probably gonna be invited to a little bit fancier things, potentially off campus if you rush. So highly suggest having a, a colored outfit, like a dress, a fancy formal outfit, and like maybe something black to wear just because you're probably going to need it at some point. Um, which you should probably have anyway just because you might have formal things off campus that don't even have to do with Greek life. Know that 
you should be preparing for that kind of stuff and just the rush process in general because it can be very very tiring and you're just gonna have to try to keep balance with that kind of stuff just because you're going to socials all the time you're going to things on campus all the time so you're gonna be talking to a lot of people and it can be a little bit overwhelming but once it's over it is so worth it another thing I highly recommend is attendance highly 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 recommend this just because if you don't go to certain things they're not gonna recognize you and they're not gonna you know they'll pick someone else who's been to all the events and is super nice over someone who's only been to two events and was there for five minutes go to the events show that you care because they care too they want someone who's as passionate and wants to actually go to these things at least some sororities don't always want people that just sit back and just watch from the back and don't know what to say. You want people who are talking and want to get to know you. If there's bracelet making on campus, go, go, go. If there is stuff off campus, go. Um, you know, if you have a test the next day, maybe, you know, go for a little bit and then leave and then finish studying. But definitely talk to girls, make your presence known. It is crucial during the process attend things because you will probably get a bit if you go to a bunch of stuff. Another thing I recommend is talking. <laughs> it's gonna sound really dumb and basic but definitely like talk to the sisters. I'm just letting you know they're probably more nervous than you are. Talk to the sisters, make conversation, be like hey I'm blah 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 and you know this is my friend blah 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 like we're thinking of potentially like doing recruitment or going through a rush process. Make yourself known, talk to people, even shoot a girl on DM on Instagram saying you're interested. What also I highly recommend if you're thinking of potentially rushing, rushing my sorority is that we have an interest form on our Instagram. Uh, I'm gonna put it probably in the link below, but also I'm gonna snag a little picture right there. Um, but if you click it, you can fill it out and it definitely puts you, you know, you can sit back and relax a little bit just because you don't have to worry about, oh my god, do they know I want to rush or, you know what I mean, or go through the recruitment process. You don't have to worry about that because your information will be there for them so they'll text you and things like that. I'll let you know what things are going on on campus and off campus. But yeah, don't be quiet at socials. Don't, you know, they're not going to want to talk to you if you don't want to talk to them. So just talk and then show that you want to join a sorority. A lot of girls just go to the socials and, you know, just say like, oh, I just want to party, I just want to like do this, and like girls are like, oh, you just want to do that kind of stuff. Like, that's not at all what a sorority is about, that's not at all what Greek life is about. Like, yes, we have socials and things like that, which can be very fun. It's mostly about philanthropy, making connections, doing things on campus, and bettering the community because that's, that's what Greek life is. You should be inspired and passionate about your organization and show that you care about the sorority like their instagram pictures follow sisters you know do nice things on campus like if uh if a greek organization is selling cookies or doing a bake sale or doing a pie in the face thing for a dollar go to those things show your face show up go to the greek tabling events they notice you I know because I've done Greek tabling events and I've noticed girls and we want girls more if you show up to things just show that you actually like care like it's not it's not needed or anything but like showing that you've done clubs before before showing that you have good grades you know it all kind of really helps that's pretty much what I recommend for Rush at Oneonta um yeah definitely go in a group Try to make friends, like you don't, I'm friends with some girls in the other sororities that were rushing at the same time as me, so we all kind of know what we're going through. If you guys have any other questions about what we should do for Rush or anything about sorority Greek life, please leave a comment, shoot me a DM, I have my Instagram, you always know, it's in the description below as well. Like this video if you enjoyed, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be definitely posting more Oneonta and sorority content, and if you guys want to see anything different, I could totally just do it for you, so yeah, thanks for joining me guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!